everybody, welcome to Happy Hour with Baroness. It's me, Maria. I hope you're all doing fine. Can you believe it's August? Ugh, where has this year gone? I'm so not ready for September and the fall, but I can't wait for the fall. Because I love sweaters and I love dressing up and all the fall fashion. I'm enjoying my summer fashion, I'm not gonna lie, as you can tell. I'm kind of pin up today. So, anyway. Let's get straight to the story. So I know you guys are all excited to hear what's been going on. As you all know, I went away for about a week to Denver, Colorado. Had a blast. Didn't have a blast getting there. <laughs> I had a blast while I was there. But it was an interesting experience getting there. Getting there was not a, really a problem. Unfortunately, I went the day um, that there was a tragedy. Um, it was a mass shooting. And uh, 50 people got shot and unfortunately 30 people died while watching the movie Batman and um, my heart goes out to them and they you know to the families that were lost and has been affected by it um, and I look, I remember sitting in the airport in LaGuardia and I'm getting all these texts and all these Facebook comments like where are you are you okay you're safe and I'm like um, yeah and then my mother finally called me after she dropped me off and she goes where exactly are you staying in Denver I'm like I'm staying in Denver itself and uh, the west side of it I go why she goes well, there was a shooting in Aurora. Now I used to live in Aurora, and uh, that's when I found out what's happening. And I, now all the texts made sense why people were getting in contact with me. Um, and it was it was definitely a tragedy, a great loss. You know that one person was able to damage so many people's lives. You know, so my heart and my prayers go out to everybody that was affected by this. But um, in Chicago. When I got there, I didn't expect to be there for over 12 hours. Yeah, that was not fun. So, <laughs> I was kind of upset when I first got bumped. I was like, oh man, I just want to get to Colorado already and see my friends. And So I figured, well, I'm on vacation. What do people do on vacation? They have a glass of wine. So I <laughs> figured, why not? I'm in New York time and it's 5 o'clock somewhere. So <laughs> I went to the bar. And I had a very light, very crispy, um, peachy kind of a wine. And I was sitting there and I was talking to some people, because I'm very sociable and I like to talk to people. And I met a professor who's a physics uh, professor in St. Louis, and quite gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm hoping he's seen this video, because he has my number. So, <laughs> met him and he was a lot of fun to talk to and stuff like that. Very handsome, you know, and uh, he loved my smile. And then I went to go try to catch my second flight and got bumped again. So I went to another bar. <laughs> well, I can't leave the airport, so what am I supposed to do? In the meantime, I'm like a kid in a candy shop because there's all these military men. You know, you name the division, they were there. And I'm like, ooh. It's like, you know, like I said, a candy shop. Can't help but look. Talked to a few of them. I had a blast talking to them. I met one that was quite intriguing. And uh, we're keeping in contact with each other. Very nice young man. And I wish him and the puppy safe in uh, Afghanistan, and I look forward to seeing you when you get back. So, yes, it was quite an interesting experience. Then I went for my third time, got bumped again. Now I'm getting irritated, because it's like no food, a little tired, very hot, stuck in an airport. I can't even leave to go see, like, you know, the stadium where Chicago Cubs play at. You know, if you're going to torture me, at least let me leave the airport so I can come back and try, like, real Chicago pizza. No. Didn't get onto the last flight, which was, like, 9 o'clock at night. So I was there for 12 hours. And I met some interesting people. I met about 10 people that changed, I would say, you know, affected my life, who were amazing. Um, and I'm so glad to say that all seven of us got on our flight to go to Colorado and some of them were going to go, go on to LA so um, I'm glad everyone was able to make their flights and get to where they needed to get at. Got in Colorado, went from Michael, from Yab, awesome, I was ready to pass out um, and then Cosmo was the best, thank you guys for having me there and staying with you guys. Next day went straight to Lookout Mountain in Golden, Colorado and I was so excited because I love Buffalo Bill and I was able to go visit one of my favorite areas where I always found it peaceful and it truly is. I mean, the mountains, I remember them as always being beautiful, but you never, for me it was maybe so long that I didn't realize how truly beautiful they were and how majestic they truly are until seeing them again recently and it was 
That's so much fun. We, I, I didn't want to go to the city. I live in the city. I live in the greatest city in the world, New York City. All right, I could do Denver City later. I wanted the mountains, and for that full weekend, all I wanted to do was be in the mountains. So the next day, we went to um, St. Mary Alice, where the glacier is. And I always wanted to see it. I couldn't wait to go see it. We're getting up there, we're walking up there. We're about 10 minutes away from this way. It starts raining, lightning, then it starts hailing. And I remember asking somebody, why is the snow hurting me? They're like, it's hail, sweetheart. <laughs> you see 20 people that's almost there doing about face, hit the floor, <laughs> lightning going over our heads, seeing a zap on the floor, feeling the shift in the you know atmosphere. Get up run. Uh, whatever dog was, I don't know whose dog this was, but this guy's dog, he was like, this is my dog, and he's protecting her. This one dog was on my side, like, kind of like, wouldn't hit me if I was going the wrong way, like, no, no, no don't go there, sweetheart, go this way. Because he probably just figured, she's from New York City, she's stupid. That's what I figured the dog was thinking. <laughs> he's like, this girl's going to get herself killed. She's going to go into the lightning. Let's get her away from the lightning. So they say don't stay in trees. Well, where that dog went, I went. So if the dog was going by the trees, I was going by the trees. If the dog was going to go back in the open, I was going to go back in the open. And it wasn't an easy path. This was like the path from hell. Rocks. Rocks. Can you move the freaking rocks if you have tourists going there? Like, seriously, nature doesn't need to be that nature. Move them. Move them out of the way. Keep them all on the side so then people that are running for their lives off a freaking mountain could get to their cars safely and off the damn mountain. Bunch of idiots. So listen, mountain rangers, or whoever you people are, get up there, move the freaking rocks, make a path, so when we're running for our lives, we could get in a you know, straight line down. Not running through a muddy river of rain and getting our, breaking our necks trying to get off your damn mountain. <sighs> idiots. I made it safely, obviously. I didn't break a neck. I made it safely. You know, I had a little guardian doggy. Well, it wasn't so little size of a horse practically but um it was an experience I'll never forget you know who knew it was going to be hailing snowing in July well go to Colorado on top of that damn glacier you'll, you'll get snowed on I'm telling you that much I found it interesting because I was like oh god it's like a thousand degrees down in Denver and it's like below 30 over there <laughs> it's crazy then we go back to the bottom of the mountain it's 90 again it's like great way to get sick I didn't get sick though it was a lot of fun um then I was talking to him. I had a, I've been talking with this guy called Mr. Darcy. I've been talking to him for about six months, and I found him interesting. And he was one of my friend's favorites. And she's like, "You have to meet him. You have to meet him." You know. Um, and he was. He was very nice and stuff like that. So I figured, well, why not? Why not meet the guy? Let's see what he's, you know, see what he's like in person. That's always nice to make a new friend. And he has a vehicle, and he could take me around because <laughs> I was not driving. So. Um, he pushed back the time a couple of times. I was like, oh, we'll meet at 6. Oh, we'll meet at 8. He didn't come to me come to me till almost 10 o'clock. You know, I'm from New York City. I'm a woman of uh, experience. Monday night, 10 o'clock. Doesn't look so good. So, yeah, you know, excuse. Talking to his mom or whatever. Maybe it was true. I don't know. <laughs> Took me out. I had a blast. Um, definitely different than what I'm used to. <clears throat> I'm used to a different kind of breed of men and different style and stuff like that and I wasn't expecting this guy to be wearing a pistol. A little scary. Not scary. I was like, you don't need to be wearing that. I'm obviously not going to hurt you. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus Christ, if this man's going to shoot me, I'm, I'm going to drink as much vodka as possible <laughs> so I won't feel a thing. But um, he was very nice. He was very nice. Um, interesting ride. I was not expecting this at all. Uh, it was a pickup truck. And nothing is hit, not hitting a pickup truck, so that's fine. But when someone's dressed like Jennifer Lopez, I don't think that's the fitting kind of vehicle. I actually asked him if he had a different vehicle just out of curiosity and he told me no. And my friends were making fun of me about that. But um, he was nice. We had a bla I'm not going to say I didn't have a good time because I'll be lying. I had a blast with this person. Really nice, great guy. So I was for the last bar, hanging out, having you know drinks. And we're gonna go play uh, pinball machines. Uh, <laughs> this really gorgeous, I mean, smoking hot artist pushes him out of the way. You know, comes up to me, gives me a hug, saying, "Hey, gorgeous, how you doing?" Blah blah blah, hitting on me right in front of this my supposed you know escort date. Whatever you want to call him, and I'm like, "Wow, you're brave. 
you're truly brave, you know, to have done that. And, like, you know, looking at Mr. Darcy, like, uh, okay, you're going to do something. I think he was just waiting to see the situation. And, of course, he was like, you know, call me gorgeous and compliment my boobs and then show me your artwork. I like that. That's smooth. <laughs> I was so impressed by how he did it that I actually bought a piece of art. And he's very talented. His name is on... Eric Turner, and uh, he's getting his website together, so once it's up, I'm going to let you all know. You need to check out this guy's artwork. He's amazing, truly uh, uh, talented. I was impressed by him so much that, you know, I got in contact with him to hang out with him the following night. <laughs> or it was it two nights. I don't remember. I remember hanging out with him and having a blast with him, too. Then, um, Mr. Doctor he drops me off and stuff like that, and, you know, walks me to the, to the door, and wishes me good night and leaves. So I was like, wow, you know, I really had a good time with him. Very nice, cordial. Little different than what I'm used to. I'm going to be honest with you. But I figured it was so nice to make a new friend, especially a single friend, that I wanted to hang out with him again, see if he was available to hang out with me again, and maybe he could take me close to where he lives, so I could see that area. So I was texting with him, very friendly, very cordial, and come to find out Mrs. Darcy has a girlfriend. Gotta mention that. Meanwhile, he was talking to me for six months. He also one time forgot to mention when he told me he wasn't, that he was married and he had a child. So you can imagine my surprise, like, wow, Mr. Darcy must have amnesia when he sees me. So, it's a little shady, I'm not gonna lie, that was a little shady. I wasn't pissed off that he's in a relationship, I was pissed off that he, the whole time he was with me, he could tell me he was married and has a child, but he couldn't tell me that he's currently in a relationship. And if I was the girlfriend, I'd be really pissed. Yeah. Like, getting my Louis ready to swat him piss. You know? That's disrespectful to your girlfriend. And it's disrespectful to me, because now you're making me think something different. And I didn't appreciate that. So, but I do like him. I think anyone that took their time out to meet somebody for the very first time, out of their very busy schedule, I do give him props for. I had a blast with him. Once again, I can't clarify enough, very respectful, very kind, treating me like a friend. And I will keep in contact with him. Um, you could always, it's easy to overlook nonsense like that, it's harmless. Because, you know, you have to weigh your pros and cons. And the truth is, as a friend, he's someone good to have. And if I want to go back out there again, if I can hang out with him again, and know that I'm going to have a good time with somebody, he's a person I would like to call to be a friend with, you know. So that's my point about Mr. Darcy, even though he pulled a Wickham. Yeah. <laughs> but if it wasn't for Mr. Darcy, I would never met the sexy, smoking hot artist. I think I have a crush on the artist. I just think he's really cute to look at. He's quite the piece of art himself. I'm just saying. <laughs> Nothing happened. He was a perfect gentleman the whole time I was hanging out with him, too. But he's another person I like to call a friend. Because he's a great person to know. He really is. Besides being talented, he's just a sweetheart of a person. I really like that. I love Colorado. And um, I'm putting a lot of things, you know, together and whatnot. Thinking a lot about possibly living there again. So it's just thoughts right now. Don't freak out. I'm still a New York bound girl. Gonna be here for a while. But I won't say no if the opportunity arises. How's that? So, next day, um, I went to go see my friend Chris, who happens to live in Colorado Springs with her boyfriend, and oh my god, you know you're having a good time. You know you have a good time. You have a hangover from hell. And all you're doing is just laughing. You're behind off with your, with your friend. But everything that happened the night before, I own probably that one bar called Blondie's. It was so much fun. We, were, we just party like we were like... It was just, we put Jersey Shore to shame without being trashy. It was just that's how much fun we had. I just, she said I was like the mayor. I was talking to everybody. I remember talking to everybody. But not, knowing me, I probably did. I probably went up, I was dancing, talking, doing shots with people, just having a blast. Why not? I'm on vacation. I deserve to have a good time. It was so much fun. And it's just uh, another beautiful city in Colorado. And just, you know, once again, it was a candy shop for me because... <laughs> You got the Army and the Air Force. It's like, oh, which one do I want to go to first? <laughs> Follow that one. Oh, wait, go to that one. Go back to that one. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I have a blast. So, um, it was, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast. Went back to, to Denver, partied with my friend Michael, and, and Cos, and went to Athena, and Michelle, and everybody, and I miss you all already. I can't wait to come back. I promise it will not be five years in between. I will get there sooner, as I promise. Unless I live there, then you'll see me all the time, and then you'll be like, oh, Jesus Christ. I should have my own reality show. I really pray to God. I wished. I wished so hard. I, the night I was out with Mr. Darcy, from the moment he walked through that door <laughs> to the moment he dropped me off, I wish I had a film crew. Because that, that was a priceless night. Besides what happened in Colorado Springs. But that was a priceless night. That is something that if anybody was watching on TV, they would just be on the floor laughing. Because it was the experience that I will never forget. But... <laughs> For all the new people I met, that I became friends with, from the time I met in the airport to the people I met in both uh, Colorado Springs and and in Denver, I can't thank you all night. I think I've had the most, one of the best vacation experiences a person could have, and I look forward to my next one, my next trip. Don't know where it's gonna be yet. When we'll get a map and just hit it and go, kind of like I normally like to do. So, okay, my darlings, I'm gonna let you go. I'm hosting you guys off with my water because it's hot as hell out here. In New York City, that is. Um, I'd rather, <laughs> once again, I'd rather be in Denver with their heat than this heat. You know, because at least my hair looks good in Denver. New York, I have to put a lot of products. Um, by the way, what do you guys think about this rocking the pinup look? You know, is it me? Usually I'm more like a rock and roll kind of a girl or. I'm going to try different looks for each video. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, my darlings, until uh, next week or sooner, knowing me, when I decide to vlog again, I wish you all the best. Good night. God bless. Ciao.